everybody, it's your boy C Bonnie, and we're back tomorrow on Kai Star Rail. So, when you saw our previous episode, we made it to the Land of Dreams. And we met Firefly, a weird guy. But so far, nothing. Well, nothing dangerous has happened. We're just exploring the town, and we're back to her tour guide. So that's what I'm doing right now. So let's hop back in and see what happens next. See these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacone? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Careful, though, sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories and, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Let me get some ID and tokens for you. With those, you'll be able to... Try any of the attractions here that you fancy. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacle. May I get some Dean tokens for him? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Penacony to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's do it. Let me see. Which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easy. Dreamy slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. Holy moly, it's the grand prize! Today must be your lucky day. I'm not sure if that's part of the story, but if it is, if it isn't, then lucky me. Forgiving. 
It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. From his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter, the covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? Maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. I knew it. I knew who he was. What was she said? She really? knew. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the trailblazer guy. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Yes! It's none other than your old friend, Sampo! You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help Urello 6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of his. Seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacone? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which... Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups... I think I can do much better. Entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Not sure if that's supposed to be like a dirty joke, but... Well, I am a, a bit curious. Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Yeah. 
Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? He is not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. I think we never regret this. allowed to enter are the Papeshi people, or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. Inside. Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay. No. I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the car. Well, seems like we can't go in. Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. Just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, Sorry, we're all short of I really one just heard item, I actually which knock we on the door. might be so, able to find in an arcade stop machine. Recording, but we're back. Let's continue with the video. There's one the salon entrance. Let's get moving! I want to show you something fun! Is that... like... Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? Haha! <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade! This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, 
How about you try touching it and see what happens? I want to let you enjoy this first-hand experience. <laughs> of course, it's just a suggestion. If you aren't up for it, uh, I'll do it myself. and swap bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. I mean, it's not that bad. I think it's kind of funny. So I guess I'll just stick with it and see what happens next. Anyway, I'm glad. 
glad you're safe. Look at that! You did great! This is the proverbial moment of freedom! You have earned it! Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me! <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun! Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Sure, this is a good idea. This is gonna be really disturbing or just a bad idea, like I don't know. But to expect. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Why is it empty? Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream. Is this another note? Oh, 
She just said, I just had to read that really fast. your worthless death.
I'm just speechless. Like I said, this is just weird beyond 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 anything I can even imagine. I wasn't even expecting this. A bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Hint at? No, more like reveal. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal! As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern-day Pentacone? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm gonna be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Same as always, pal. You just didn't get it. Just turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious. Huh. You better hurry up and confront she her. That's a point. You gotta give that to him. That was don't actually kind of cool. Free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Myself. My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Pentecone. 
My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are a hobby. He sounds like Mickey Mouse. Zona, origami bird, hamster ball night. And Misha. Misha's in trouble. Tick tock. Help, help. Uh, Clocky? Do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? I, I can't see him. Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here, Cloud and Gray! Just how so? Tick tock! Tick tock! My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Misha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late! Uh, is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this, um... Clocky that only you can see? I don't think you're lying, as... Anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick-tock! Tick-tock! Hurry up and follow me, great friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me... The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Uh, anyway, better check out what's going on. Come on, chop chop! Move as fast as the hamster ball night! Hey, There's a crowd over there. Looks like something... Everyone, please, calm down! Uh, everyone, please stay calm! You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Yeah. Punisher, boss. <sighs> How did it come to this? Uh, do you know her? See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! TikTok, I'm begging you, my great friend! Begging you! Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Well, it does look like things are getting out of control. Tick tock! Tick tock! It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way! Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst! He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself! He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of dream, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again! My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise! If you take action now, we can catch him off guard! Oh, it'll be fine! I'm just demonstrating how it works! Please, close your eyes. Talk. Now, our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy surging through your body? All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won! Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all! Tick tock! Mind your own business, lad. I have to let that lady there know she's
Uh, what got into me just now? That's wonderful! You did it! Great! It means you've mastered the art of clockwork. Oh, was I about to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? What's wrong with the boss? Wrong with uh, hey, hey, may I ask you a question? Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? And I, I wasn't. Doing that. If we'd laid a finger on our guests just now, we would have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. I'm so sorry for stirring up all this trouble. Alas, why did I get so worked up all of a sudden? It's, uh, it's, it's baffling. Oh, my great friend! You have to tell him that stone is behind us. I feel bad for causing such a spectacle. Uh, anyway, uh, I owe everyone a proper apology. Hey, gang, gang, uh, line up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? I am sure. Ready? Go! Wow, they look really sincere. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? You're the boss. The gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, boss. boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? He's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about him before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's him! Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady uh, your friend too? <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before. But he is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. The beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? That's right! It was me! Yippee! Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dreamville would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality. I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable. It's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. You're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation, but I won't bore you with the details. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. 
If I look, if I look into a mirror and see somebody with a black veil looking back at me, I'm breaking that mirror. Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that flocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. I guess this could be a lot longer than we imagined. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. No, we're not on a date. <laughs> He's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. I think this is a good stopping point. This has definitely been a weird episode. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.